Um, it depends what time of day is. I was recently saying to somebody, my guilty pleasure, and post night shift viewing is Homes Under the Hammer. Love it. And uh, it helps me switch off quite well. Um, I just chatting with friends, um, yeah, reading, watching something ridiculous on TV. Mock the Week is always good therapy. <laughs> I think it's really important that we do try and switch off after a difficult shift and I would do that by thinking about other activities which are definitely not work related. So going back to my family, spending time with, with them, but also maybe doing things like running um, and other activities. And I think it's really important for me to maintain that work-life balance. Your work is important. And I want to do that um, as well as I can, but I need, to, I need to detach from it and I need to do other things so that when I go back to work, I can be the best possible nurse that I can be. I find at work that I'm thinking a lot about the way that I am communicating with somebody. I'm trying to think about and focus on the way somebody else is communicating with me. And it's hard work. And then, of course, as I've said, you might experience emotions around that. So, so yeah, when I go home, often I watch really mindless TV and I'm really conscious that I want to watch something that doesn't require me to concentrate. So I won't put a film on that I know, I certainly won't watch anything with subtitles. <laughs> I'll watch something that's probably, you would judge to be fairly rubbish TV because it's mindless. It, I, I've said this to people, it kind of, I need something just to wash over me. It took me a while to realise it's serving a function. And when I'm not stressed, I, mean, I would then want to watch something that I need to concentrate on a bit more, and maybe things that are more like my job. So I'd then maybe want to watch a drama that's maybe got a psychological element to it. Or, but when I'm stressed or, or when I've had a really busy day at work, I don't want anything to do with that. I just want to watch people in a jungle eating caterpillars. We do a lot of reflection within mental health nursing, so we spend a lot of time, sometimes in a really structured way, sometimes in an unstructured way, just going over things step by step, things that have gone really well, and things that we might think, if, if they happened again, might we approach it differently? And then we put a plan together. And I think that helps if you can go through that process and then make a plan. And then you're, you're far better equipped to sort of put some closure on that and, and move forward. Sometimes as well, I'll want fresh air because the work that I do currently is, is indoors and, uh, and it's in a secure environment. So I might also go out for a walk. And when I do, especially if I've had a difficult day, I'm deliberately mindful of what I'm doing. So I will deliberately look around me, focus on what's around me, think about what I'm seeing and what it feels like and what the air's like and because again that's taking your mind somewhere else and focusing on something else. After a difficult shift I do try and um, just summarize the day. What exactly happened and why it happened and you know what everybody see you tomorrow and let's see this tomorrow. And you just leave it there and coming back to it tomorrow and not take it home. Try hard not to talk about it whenever I meet a friend out there or when we meet as colleagues, maybe if, for example, it's a Friday and we meet up in town on Saturday, don't talk work. Because otherwise you don't move on. <laughs>